Hello everyone. So this video we will be learning how to draw the mammary glands. Okay. This is a normal question for CBC class 12 biology. So we are, what we need is just a protractor. All right. Keep the protractor a little slanted like this. And by holding on the protractor, draw a line like here. And from the zero total the measure 130 okay 130 mark then put a mark at 120 then put a mark at 110 and go till the other end 130 okay and mark here now little more we can just this is the reference line we drew from that line little more behind we'll go and draw another line okay so this is the basic thing we need to start the diagram so guys you know after drawing this so you must have noticed here is 130 this is 120 this is you know like that again from here goes to the other sides 130 now just okay just bring this diagram little up extended and make all the way two walls draw double layer so with one hand you have to finish drawing don't draw like small 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 pieces okay and here also we should go for the same okay and now what we will do here we will just bring that line like this and same way over here and after that we are supposed to make the small small ducts which are entering from here starting from here so we have to draw you know one duct like this then another and so on so make more ducts over here okay so this is basically the nipple and then from there what shall we do okay <clears throat> so from this point we, we can just uh, you know draw the body layer so this is the reference layer we drew and now from here we can just draw like this extending till here okay this land so this is the area where we are going to draw the remaining structures and now what is next so this will go like this and a bit swelling is required and then goes there and divides okay and then re-divides and then you know re-divide and then again re-divide and draw like this okay by the way let's try another one from here there is more swelling is required here okay and then let it go all the way like this and then then again re-divide branching 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 finally let's go for one more such you know always make a swelling here because that's called the uh, ampulla memory ampulla okay then we can go again so many divisions branching and here also branching and at the end last here we can draw another one the same way again branching and rebranching when this much is done now let us this is the time to draw the memory alveolus okay so it is very simple simply draw you know like a bunch of grapes like structures 
you can draw any number because we have made the branches here from that branch it should go like this so keep drawing such bunch of grape like structures i'm just drawing it fast in order to finish the video quickly so you can take your time and draw it during the exam and then here also so these are the memory alveolus so keep drawing okay once you have completely drawn the memory alveolus it's trying to put a sheet covering the whole like for example till here one set then you can see till here maybe another set then we can go for yet another set till here so we have to demarcate like there are various various sets of you know groups are there actually this is the memory lobe okay this is the memory lobe and inside the memory lobe we can see memory alveolus after doing this part now it is a time to draw the you know fat structure you know various amount of variable amount of fat will be available and that decide the breast size okay so let's go ahead drawing so this all are what you know freehand drawing like you know how artists draw clouds you know same way same like ampola okay keep drawing with various shapes you can just uh, extend the diagram like this and uh, okay let us okay fine now this all area other than the mammary lobes we need to fill fat globules let's go and fill the fat globules over this side also okay so this is how fat globules are drawn so once fat structure okay they are like specific structures okay and once that is done uh, most of the work is almost over now what is remaining we need to draw the, the rib and the cut ribs of there okay so we have already drawn a line like this make it a double walled layer okay and then you can just draw some lines like this and uh, reference you can like reference points and all you can draw like this now it's the time to draw the cut ribs there okay one is here next here third one here fourth here fifth there sixth and seventh so now we have almost done the diagram it's a time to uh, label the parts so this part is called areola always label neatly areola and this is the nipple And now the just from the nipple this ducts you know these ducts which are passing out is called lactiferous duct okay lactiferous duct so lactiferous duct is the last duct which joins with the nipple so lactiferous duct is in turn you know just coming from this wide wide structures this wide wide structure is called so now we can go for that structure that is called the ampulla okay ampulla and then just after that the ampulla is again dividing to various you know this these branches so these branches are called mammary duct okay so let us draw this 
and this branch okay so these all are actually branches joining to form the ampulla so it's called as mammary duct and now after that mammary duct we have to just go to the mammary alveolus that is this bunch of grape like structures and okay one or two alveolus together we can mark and write mammary alveoli because i marked uh, many so that's why it's mammary <coughs> alveoli now after that mammary alveoli we notice that mammary alveoli is actually kept inside a bunch of tissue okay this full is the sheet of that one and that's called the mammary lobe so here that we can mark as mammary lobe so it starts from the lobe then to alveoli then to duct okay then ampulla then lactiferous duct okay lobe alveoli duct ampulla lactiferous duct okay and then lactiferous duct joined to the nipple so the order should be very clear l a d a l okay ladal remember l a d a l ladal that is the order from here till here lobe alveolar duct ampulla and lactiferous duct okay now this molecule this uh, structure that we have drawn here is called fat so let us mark that fat okay and uh, here we can just mark this as ribs and uh, uh, you know there are some muscles between the ribs so these are the muscles okay so we can mark it as muscles between ribs another one is you know some another important muscle is there here in between that's called pectoralis major so let us write the name pectoralis major muscle okay and that's it about drawing how to draw memory glands okay so suppose this question comes for the exam do not think that it's tough this is the method uh, watch the video uh, uh, rewind and re watch it so that you can practice it yourself do not miss do not leave this question so hope you enjoy the video see you in the next one till then take care bye